Today we are going to be talking about planting roots and sets in the autumn. And you may think that, whoa, it's way, way too late to be planting roots and sets, but because of the very warm autumn we've already experienced, now is actually an ideal time to be planting roots and sets. Today we're going to be talking about planting garlic, onion sets, shallots, and elephant garlic. The first thing you need to think about if we are going to be planting these kinds of roots and sets in the fall is how are we going to feed them throughout the winter months and into the spring. You need to amend your soil with two things. You need to amend your soil with potash and with phosphate. These two fertilizers and there are organic fertilizers available that contain both potash and phosphate. These two fertilizers encourage root growth and bulb growth. You do not want a high nitrogen fertilizer because that will encourage top growth. And what you're interested in is getting big roots, big bulbs, big onions. So these are the two fertilizers you need to amend your soil with before you actually plant your roots and sets. This is an elephant garlic bulb. Elephant garlics are in the leek family. This is a leek. Believe it or not, elephant garlics are not in the garlic family. They are related to leeks. What you plant when you plant an elephant garlic is a clove. This huge thing is an elephant garlic clove. An elephant garlic bulb will contain anywhere between three and six of these cloves. What you plant is one of these cloves and what you will get in about another six to eight to ten months is an elephant garlic bulb that has three, four, five, or six of these cloves. This soil has already been amended with both phosphate and with potash. We have then dug a four inch deep trench and we have set the elephant garlic cloves into the trench with a good four inches, as you can see, a good four inches between cloves. This beautiful little thing is a shallot. Shallots are related to onions. Many say that they're sweeter than onions. Uh, they certainly have a more subtle flavor than most onions do. Shallots, when you are planting a shallot, you are actually planting a baby shallot, a shallot set. And what happens is that shallot set, that single baby shallot, then will produce between four and six mature shallots once the plant is harvested the following summer. So one shallot will produce four to six shallots when it is time to harvest them. The shallot sets, again, need to be separated by a good four inches in the trench that's approximately four inches deep. Onion sets are baby onions. This is a tiny onion that was grown from seeds like the seeds that you see in my hand. You can also grow onions quite easily from seed. It takes quite a bit longer, but you can grow onions from seed. In the fall though, what you want to plant are these baby onions that we call onion sets. And this little onion will grow into this magnificent big onion by next July or maybe next August. With onions, they can be a little snugger. So what you need to do is separate them top to top by four inches. Imagine this little guy here is going to grow into this guy here in a matter of six to eight months. Garlic is usually sold as a ball. And what you do in order to plant garlic is that you separate the bulb into individual cloves. And then what you're going to do is you're going to plant the individual cloves. A single clove, depending upon the garlic variety, will give you anywhere from 8 to 15 to 20 individual cloves. Now, the secret behind growing great garlic is to plant the big cloves and eat 
the little ones. Garlic, on the other hand, is the most unfriendly of all of these bulbs. They don't want to be close to their brothers and sisters and neighbors no matter what. You need a good six inches between cloves or they will not bulb. Once you have the cloves in their trenches, then what you do is cover them gently with soil. And then in areas where there's a frequency of free saw cycles, you want to cover them, mulch them with straw. This concludes our tutorial on planting garlic, elephant garlic, shallots, and onion sets in the fall. Come visit our website, www.harvesting-history.com.